Hey guys, good evening and welcome back again to your Run Academy in English channel. I hope all of you are doing great, having a good time. Well, my dear students, this particular session is for all the NEET 2025 aspirants. Since you know, like one, two hours back, your application forms for the NEET 2025 examination are out. Now, in this particular session, I'll exactly let you know how to fill your application form step by step so that you won't commit any mistake while filling the application form. Right? All the things which I'll be letting you know in the today's session, please and please take care of every single thing. Take care of every single thing. Okay? So, let's have a look on how to fill your NEET 2025 application form that to the step by step process. My dear students, the first thing, what you need to do is you need to go towards your NTA official site. Okay? Once you enter into the NTA's official site, you just need to drag it a little down. Here you'll find an option, NEET UG 2025 Registration and Online Form. I'll click on this. Once I click on this, here are the steps to apply online. How many steps are there to apply for this NEET examination? My dear students, step number one, apply for online registration, fill online application form, pay examination fees, and at the end, you need to download the confirmation page. So there are four things basically. One by one, I'll tell you each and everything. Okay. One thing which I recommend here, you just need to click here, download information bulletin. In the information bulletin, every single thing is given in detail. Okay. Right. You need to download this or if you're not downloading this, I'll be sharing this information bulletin on my telegram, which is Vaseem Bhatt Chemistry Official. Anyways, so first of all, if you already are the existing candidate, right, you just have to click here on login. If it's a new registration, okay, if it's a new registration, that means those students who are going to write the NEET examination for the first time, you just have to click on new registration. Once you click on new registration, my dear students, there are three things which you can see. Registration, application form, then at the end, the fee payment, right? So just drag it a little down. When you drag it down, when you drag it down, what you need to do here, when you drag it down, here you have to Please read the instructions carefully and give your consent for the blue, blue uh, mentioned declaration. I'm clicking on it and here I'm clicking to proceed. Once I click to proceed, each and everything, each and everything mentioned over here should be absolutely correct. Your name, the spelling of your name, the spelling of your father's name, the spelling of your address, whatever is mentioned on your class 10th mark sheet, whatever is, is there exactly like with the proper spelling. All those things you have to mention here, right? Okay, so there should be no spelling mistake in short. So whatever spelling is there on your class 10th mark sheet, right? Same spellings you have to use over here as well. So first thing, as you can see, candidate's name as per your class 10th mark sheet. Then father's or guardian's name as per your mark sheet. Mother's name, candidate's, candidate's date of birth, okay? Uh, gender, after that, you have to confirm all these details again. Once you confirm all these details again, then comes your present address. What is this present address exactly? See, for example, I'm actually from Srinagar, right? But I'm doing my preparation from, from Kota. I want my examination to happen in Kota, right? So here in this particular column, I have to give the Kota address where I want my examination to happen. Okay, perfect. So. All these details you have to fill about your present address, that city from which you want uh, your examination to happen. After that comes your email address, mobile number, confirm mobile number, right? And if your present address and the permanent address is same, then you have to click on over here at this particular point, same as present address, okay? Once I click here, then again you need to drag down, again you need to drag down, okay? Again, you need to drag down. Here you have to make, you have to generate the password basically. And this password which you will be generating over here, you'll have to remember it. My dear students, because after this, you'll have to log in. And during the login time, you have to apply the same password which you have uh, kept over here. Perfect. And once this is done, you have to click on, click on submit. And after you click on submit, again, there'll be one more page opened, wherein again, you have to fill the details like your father's name, mother's name, etc, etc, your schooling. Okay, all those things will be done. And once you click on the submit, once you click on the submit, 
there will be one OTP which you'll be getting on your registered mobile number. Make sure it is your mobile number. Make sure it is that mobile number which is attached with your Aadhaar card as well, right? Because uh, last year, a lot of issues happened. There were some students uh, who had not linked their mobile numbers with the Aadhaar cards. They had given different number here, different number uh, during in the Aadhaar card, etc, etc. So avoid that. So you have got one month time, right? If you want to update your Aadhaar, you can do that in this uh, period of one month. Okay, once you are done with this, once you are done with this, once you click on, once you click on submit, after that, you will have to upload the scan documents. And you have to be very careful in that. What exactly you have to be careful about? See guys, if I talk about the scan documents, let's have a look on the information bulletin so that you'll exactly get to know, right? What exactly I'm talking about. See, first of all, your step number one is your registration form. And I have shown you how exactly you can fill that, right? From where you will generate your application number and password. And once it's done, step two, Step two, my dear students, that is, you will have to upload the scanned image of candidates' recent passport size photograph taken after 1st January 2025. Okay, signature, left and right-handed fingers and thumb impressions, citizenship certificate if applicable, social category certificate applied for application, class 10th mark sheet, class 10th passing certificate or equivalent certificates for conversion of CGPA grades, etc, etc. My dear students, this is very important which a lot of students commit mistake while doing this. What is that? The recent photograph should be in color with 80% face, with 80% face without the mask. So you have to click and click. It's, it's highly recommended. Click a new picture. Uh, at least 80% of your face should be visible and do not click the picture with the mask on. Number one. Number two, all the uploaded image should be in PDF, JPG format or JPEG format. These are the three formats right, which should be used over here for the image. Third one is, the size of the scanned passport size photograph should be between 10 KB to 200 KB, right? So whatever photograph you are clicking, its size has to be between 10 to 200 KBs. After that, the size of the scanned passport, uh, postcard size photograph should be between 10 KB to 200 KB, again the same. The size of scanned left and right uh, fingers and the thumb impression should be 10 KB to 200, again the same. The size of the scanned signature should be between 10 KB to 50 KB. So you have to read all this very carefully, wherein you'll get to know exactly what should be the size of different, different things which you have to upload uh, while scanning, right? Which you have to upload uh, in the step number second. And once you fill all these documents, which I've shown over here, which I've shown over here, once you fill all these documents, which I've shown over here, my dear students, then comes, then comes the third step after you click on submit. After you click on submit, then comes the third thing, that is your fees payment, right? And there is online mode, which is mentioned there. You have to click on online mode and accordingly, you'll, uh, I mean, you'll, you'll complete your registration process. Make sure, make sure whatever details you are filling, whatever details you are filling, your name, the spelling of your father's name, mother's name, etc., etc., your present address, permanent address, everything should be in match with your class 10th mark sheet. Everything should be in match with your other card details as well, right? There would be a lot of students, there would be a lot of students, right? Wherein the spelling of your name or your father's name on your other card and your class 10th mark sheet would be different. So it is high time to do the corrections in the other card right now because it takes almost like, uh, th uh, sometimes it takes seven days, sometimes it takes 20 days also to update the other. But the uh, best thing is, the NTA this time has given the window of one month, right? So in this particular one month, you can update your other card with the correct details and stuff so that there'll be no issues at all, right? So this is how you are going to fill your uh, application form. First of all, filling all the data. Second thing is your uh, up uploading the scanned documents, which I've shown you clearly. And the third thing that is the online fee payment, which you have to do. So my dear students, let me tell you very honestly, this is now the high time to get serious about the preparation. This is the high time to get the serious about the preparation now. All those students who were sleeping till now, all those students who thought that, who were thinking that preparation is not up to the mark, who just had completed some 10%, 20% of the syllabus, this is the high time to complete the syllabus, my dear students, right? So on this particular channel, you can consult your Game of Need 2.0 series, wherein we have completed each and every chapter in detail. 
each and every chapter in detail one chapter in 10 to 12 hours we have completed that too with all the theory all the problem patterns p by q's everything has been done in the session itself or if you think you do not have that much time left you do not have that much time left then from monday on this particular channel itself we are starting a new series wherein every chapter will be completed in just three to four hours that too will all theory all the problem patterns okay you can follow that series as well and those students who think they cannot uh, i mean remain disciplined for the upcoming time who want the test series as well who want the study material as well who want to be the part of the dedicated batch then my dear students let me tell you one more important thing that today we have started a batch today we have started the batch right and what is that batch that is the dream crash course batch which started today in which entire syllabus of physics chemistry biology we shall be completing in 70 days each and every single chapter will be completed in three sessions all the chapters will be covered from the basics there will be tests on every sundays and last 20 days you will be provided the full syllabus mock test almost almost some 30 full syllabus mock tests should be provided in this particular batch right so that you become exam friendly dpps of every chapter will be in included you again need not to worry about that short notes of every chapter so that it will be easier for you to do the revision will be provided formula sheets will be provided organic chemistry flow charts should be provided every day you'll have three to four classes that to live sessions but by chance if you are not able to uh, i mean join any live session you can watch its recording as well this session duration of every single session is going to be 1.5 hours free mentorship sessions will be there right recorded sessions also there and this batch is going to be in completely english language so all those students who think they cannot remain disciplined throughout this journey from now onwards then this is the batch which is dedicated completely for all of you and to enroll into this particular batch uh, let me tell you the cost of this particular batch is two triple nine that means in just three thousand rupees you're getting all your syllabus complete in physics chemistry biology once again that too by us by your unacademy neat english team including the tests including the dpps and all the parameters which are required to crack this particular examination i'm keeping the link of this particular dream crash course batch in the description of the video just click on that link and enroll now so that from tomorrow itself only you will join us live in this dream crash course batch my dear students just give me these upcoming like 60 to 70 days we know exactly we have done it exactly in the last year as well and we know how to make sure that all of you land into a dream college so you have got three things you can complete your syllabus from the game of lead 2.0 if you think you are you cannot uh, sit for like 12 hours straight to complete a chapter then from monday we are starting one more series on this particular channel itself in which every chapter will be done in like three to four hours and if you still think you cannot do that on your own too then this dream crash course batch is for you which we started today on on our unacademy platform right so link is there i would highly recommend you guys to join this particular batch because this is super beneficial for, for all the need 2025 aspirants for sure right so it was a quick information how to fill the application form so that you won't commit any mistake, right? Uh, that was the reason of making this particular video. I hope you liked it. And if you'll be having any sort of doubts, any sort of queries, do let me know in the comment section of this particular video. Take care. God bless you all and love you all guys. Bye.